we got there. We got there in the end. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, it's against Derby, yes, fair enough, yeah. mid-table championship side. But they started all right, didn't they? They started all right, Derby. Had a couple of chances. But after the first goal that Luke Shaw scored, we were comfortable from them, weren't we? Yeah, I think like any game, the first goal is the most important thing. <laughs> yeah. If they went 1-0 up, like, I think they had a really, really good chance. Um, Romero made a couple of good saves as well. Um, I think obviously if they'd gone one new up, mm. we'd take a different ball game because we went one new up. It's, it literally was easy. Mm. It, it, we made a lot of work of it, really. Mm. I know you always, you always look at the bigger picture. I know what you're yeah, like. You're yeah, always, yeah. you know, you're, you're a realist and you always think about, you know, the whole, the whole picture. But I mean, today they were comfortable and in the context of going through to the quarterfinals, yeah. it's, it's, it's obviously a positive, isn't it? Of course, I mean, yeah. I mean we won this, obviously. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm happy, even though, even, though I don't sure? look it, even though I don't look it, I'm happy, because obviously... I always wonder with you. No, 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 but I always say to all, like, all my mates as well, is that I support Man United. Yes. I, I'm not Oli, I'm not Jose, I'm not yeah, Pogba, yeah. You know. I'm Man United. So yeah. whatever's the best for, for us. Yeah. Who stood out for you today? I, th I think Bruno, again, even though he didn't do loads of, in terms of assists and stuff yeah. like that, it's just because he caresses the ball, he, he looks after it, the ball really well. And it's just like he gets it, he moves, he's always looking, he's always positive. Even when he gets the ball, he's sort of always on the half turn. Mm. It's just little things where you can see he's got the brain where the ball comes to him and he's always looking all the, all the time. We've got some players, I know everyone bangs on about Luke Shaw, how brilliant he is. In my opinion, he hasn't got that much better. No. Um, and he gets the ball, he's always, he was, he's always flat footed, he's always like quite a negative. He plays within himself, in my opinion. Mm. Um, do you think he can bring that out of himself? Do you think that he's able to work on that and there's a player in there or you just see him has reached his no, maximum? Personally, no, I was saying to loads of people today is that with Luke Shaw, everyone's saying, oh, he's been, he's been superb. And I look and go, do you know what? He's been good for the last three or four games. I'll give him his dues. Mm -hmm. he's, been, he's been really good in some games. But it's only because he's been so poor for three years that we're thinking he's brilliant now. You look and go, if you look at someone like Alfonso Davis from oh, Bayern Munich, that's just Alex it, yeah. Telles from Porto, yeah. he's nowhere near any of them. Mm. Even Ashley Cole in his prime, even Robertson and Chilwell. And a lot of people don't like Chilwell, but mm. he's, he's better than Luke Shaw. And, I mean, he's not, he's not the problem area, of course mm. he is, and he's doing better, but I think he plays within himself so much. Mm. I don't know whether it's, he's scared of the, the leg break still off the, from four years ago, I don't know what it is, but he just, I want more from him personally, I think. Mm. Uh, but, but there is positives, but I still find we won today, but we were boring. I don't know what you thought, but... Yeah, well, it's weird, because before the first goal went in, I was next to Miles, and I was like, yeah, this, we're not really tearing up trees here. Yeah. Um, and it's like... It still feels like we're, we're waiting for moments. Yeah, Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like individual moments or two players to link up, then go. And I know people can say, well, that's what a goal is. Yeah, but yeah. it's not, that, that's not wave after wave. I think yeah, against yeah, yeah. a side like Derby, obviously where they are in the championship, we, we, we should be beating them yeah, once we go 1 0 up. But I think against the real, what we're not seeing in the Premier League is wave after wave yeah. after wave of, of a patterned and sequential attack. But I think the problem we've got is as well is that unfortunately we've got one style of football. Yes. In my opinion, like I've said to everyone else as well, is that no top team in Europe play counter-attack football. I can't think of any, and there's a reason for that. Um, and we play counter-attacking football. Today, we had no James, no Rashford, no Marshall, no pace going forward. Mm. So it looked really sluggish and just looked really pedestrian. It's going to be like possession-based, trying to play in yeah. little triangles. Um, and I'm all up for sort of slow passing, but sometimes, like, like with Fred and Bruno, he, they zip it. Like the, the goal, the, there's one move, Bruno played in Shaw, and he forced Shaw to make that run, even though yeah. you could tell he didn't want to make that run, mm. but he forced him to make that run because he zips it to people. You look at City, they're playing balls in front of the player so they can run onto it. Mm. We're playing the ball to, to feet all the time. And it's mm. just so frustrating because the person then has got to take a touch. They then turn inside. It just slows it all down. It's still, like we won 3 0, brilliant. It's all mm. about results. I've said it all the time. Exactly. We beat Norwich away. We could be in two semi finals this year, yeah. potentially a final if we beat whoever we play in the semi, mm. potentially get fourth or fifth. So is it looking that bad? <laughs> it, it is because for me, uh, the, the, the fans, even, even every time I go to a game, the fans' standards overall are in the sewers. Forget the gutters, it's in the sewers. It's so deep mm. that we're going, oh yeah, yeah, we're going to get fifth. That's nothing to celebrate really. We should be challenged for the title. And in my opinion, the rebuild isn't a, a, as big a job as people think it is. Mm. You buy three, four top elite players and we have got the money, we can do it. It transforms this team. Mm. For example, Sancho, Grealish, Timo Werner, Koulibaly, for example, just, just for yeah. example. Yeah. And they're just names at the top of my head. I ain't, yeah. I'm not even a scout. Yeah. I can name you 50 players that will improve this team yeah. drastically. Mm. But we've got all these scouts and what they're doing. And the biggest thing is, as we all know, I don't want to keep banging on about it, but Glazers, are they going to spend the money? And mm. they're penny pinchers, aren't they? That's the problem. Mm. And like, I mean, like, Igalo today was brilliant because he does what Martial doesn't do. He's, a, num he's a number nine. He, he, I love Martial, ability-wise, but he doesn't, he doesn't get in the box, he doesn't stay in the box. Mm. Like Vardy, prime example, he's, he's in the box, he's a, a fox in a box, mm. literally. Igalo's the same, Igalo, like the goal against Bruges, 
Martial mm. wouldn't have scored that. Mm. Probably both for today's goals. Yeah, Martial probably, wouldn't have scored. You know, it's interesting you say to make that comparison. Look, we love Tony. We know what his attributes are and, and how good he can be. He's had a good season. Yeah, he has had a good season. Yeah. Love, love the guy to bits. But it's it's interesting sort of dissecting the two different attributes of that they both possess. Oh. Like a Galo, more of a natural striker for you. Of course. And people say about Martial being being lazy, being uninterested. I, I don't even care about that. Forget that sort of it. Mm. It's his movement. And if you look at him, he doesn't run or think like a striker. He doesn't move like a striker. Igalo's a proper poacher, a bit like Chicharito in, yeah. in, in, in some sense. Yeah, yeah. Chicharito wouldn't be le out wide left, out wide right, because he's, he's a goal scorer. Yeah, Vanis was, Vanis was the same. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Um, can you see can you see Igalo getting in for the City game? You know, Ricky was sort of saying that uh, that's, that's twice now we've seen um, you know, Igalo come on and then Martial to the left. We saw Martial to the left again today. Is that just because of squad rotation and tiredness because of at the back at the end of the Everton game? Or for the City game, could, could, could you see that? Igalo starting up front, maybe? I think we should. I think especially if they've got Stones and... Otamendi oh, yeah. together, not Fernandino. Even yeah. Fernandino's there, he's got a bit of pace, but yeah. he's still not that great defensively. I think Igala should be our number nine mm. because he's a focal point. He can, if he can ruffle some feathers, mm. sort of knock into him and, and just. And you talk about, you know, you know that old school thing. Even if it's Sunday league level, yeah. you play good, you keep your shirt. Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, he's yeah, coming yeah. in, and yeah, Everton he could have won us the game. Game before that, Bruges, he got his first goal. Um, two goals here today. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. quietly going about his business, isn't he? So he, he probably he, deserves yeah. a start. He does, does deserve a start. My only fear, obviously, I want him to do well because him doing well means Man United do well. Yeah. My only fear, long term, is. Next year, we'll give him a three-year contract. <laughs> and, 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 and the problem we've got is, is that as good as his movement is, and yeah. when you compare it to Martial, his movement's brilliant in the mm. box. There are 10 strikers out there in Absolutely. world football that you can get yeah. that will do what he does. Mm. But um, Well, even they've said it's short term. Better. I mean, yeah. it's, it's got to be short term. Yeah. But I worry if he scores against City, or the winner, yeah. he scores a winner against Spurs. Just like how yeah, we gave Oli the job. Like, and, and it's nothing against Igalo, nothing against Nigerian fans or yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever. It's just, he's just not good enough for Man United. He just isn't. He, in he, the long term. Well, he isn't. It's weird. Well, because well, what if he tears up trees but, in this three, three or four months? Does that not show he is good enough? Yeah, that, it, but not difficult. over a long yeah. span. You but I get. You know I, what I mean? Yeah, if he gets yeah, a hat trick yeah. on Sunday, <laughs> and a hat trick against Spurs, words, <laughs> then he maybe is good enough. But you know what I mean? Like he, I he's not the elite, the, the, the Lewandowski's of the yeah, world, yeah. and he just isn't. And I don't want us to give him a three-year contract. We, we've got to go out and get the best. Like mm. we can't mess around because especially this summer, mm. it, for me, is key. Chelsea are still sort of hit and miss. They don't really know what they're doing. Spurs are struggling. Arsenal are Arsenal. So this is a chance to then capitalise, go and get three or four elite players and we'll be right up there. We okay, really will be. Enough. Finish off, who's your man of the match? <laughs> it pains me to say it, but probably Shaw because he got the goal and the assist. <laughs> what do you mean it pains you to say it? He had a good game, he had a good game. Yeah, he had a good game, but, but I just don't think he's as good as people think he is. I think people are blinded by the fact that he's been, he's been, he's been poor for three years. Okay. Let's not forget that, so. See you Sunday. Cheers, nice one. Take care. <laughs> nice one, brother. <laughs> Big thank you to you guys for watching the latest of our videos. And if you want to check out more, make sure you do that just to the right of me. We are the biggest and best Manchester United channel in the world. Make sure you check us out on all of the socials as well. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and YouTube. The socials are along the bottom. Peace.